Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon BGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well, having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in and we are going to kick off and continue on with this team that you can see on your screen right in front of you. Now we kicked off at the start of the week with this team that I played. Well, a variation of this team at the Bristol Regionals over the past weekend and I've changed things up coming into the episodes this week with that Thunderous over the Cartana slot which is the sixth slot on the team. Now we did see a little bit of Thunderous yesterday. It did alright, but I think it's very predictable and I think that's something we need to take into consideration when we're playing it and um, that's the, that's the thing. So maybe we change things up again going into next week after we've had a few more battles with this team, but generally the team's doing really well. So hopefully that continues. We'll jump into it straight away today. As always guys, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our other Pokemon content that we have coming out and... Um, do leave your comments down below and uh, talking about other content. I'm sorry, I'm just going to switch over to our, our, our score screen, our bottom screen. And um, talking about other content. So I do have guides in the works. I've just been crazy, 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 no time recently to do it. So there will be more guides coming. Um, I'm hoping to get them done in the next couple of weeks. Um, so do stay tuned from that. I'm going to have more Sword and Shield stuff coming out very soon. And obviously our streams will be starting up again. So doing all that jazz. And uh, hopefully things getting back onto a more smoother track going forward. So yes, that is that. But hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent today. We're just going to search. If it does, guys, we'll just cut to it. And we'll come straight back when we bump into our first opponent of the episode. And we've got a first opponent of the episode. We've got Ice Bullet from Japan, I think. So we'll hop straight into team preview. This looks like a nice team. Robombe, Mewtwo, Kyogre, Ditto, Cinnaroar, and Tepulele. Full of all the, the techs, this team. So we've got the Robombe. It's going to be a speed control member of this team. It's got access to Tailwind. Uh, Pollen Puff is another move that it's got access to. Speed Swap as well that we need to watch out for. The Ditto's another thing that we need to be a little bit careful about. Um, Tapulele could potentially be Scarfed, it could be Mega Mewtwo, which it probably likely is, and then the Incineroar, we all know what Incineroar does, uh, I feel like, uh, Bird Up, Eveltal, Tapu Fini is going to be good, Eveltal is going to be incredibly good in this match, especially if we can get our terrain and Missy Seed boosted, we have to be a bit careful around the Ditto, obviously switching in for the Eveltal, so we need to be a little bit careful around that. Uh, I do think Groudon in Tailwind will be extremely good. So I do want to probably bring Groudon. What's the last Pokemon I want to bring? Do I want to bring Thunderous here? Thunderous could be decent, I guess. Um, Metagross could also be good. Incineroar could be just good. I think the opposing Eveltal could be a little bit of a problem if the Ditto does transform into that that's kind of why i want to bring thunderous is kind of like a backup to my opponent doing that so i'm gonna i'm gonna bring the thunderous here and not bring the incineroar or the metagross so we'll get straight into it right let's see how we get on against ice bullet what a great username ice bullet just like it's cool a bullet of ice i'm gonna i really guys i'm sorry <laughs> you're probably like why do i put up why do I put up with this content creator? Just talk so much trash the whole time. I'll try and, and be a bit more on point. So we've got Mewtwo, we've got Kyogre. I mean, you might find it entertaining. I hope you do. Um, this is a great lead for us, really, because we're going to get our terrain up. Uh, we'll get our Misty Seed. We're pressuring the Mewtwo. We're not really scared about the Kyogre. Unless it's Scarfed. Which it could be. Is it going to be Scarfed? Is it the pink Scarfed Kyogre? No, it's not. It's just the, the Primal Kyogre. I'm sorry, there's a fly, like, creeping around. I'm not going mad. It's like, it's like buzzing around my head. Go away. It's like it loves me. Um, alright, so... I mean, Tailwinding here is probably a good idea. Uh, we will take a big chunk of damage from this Kyogre. But, I mean, one thing we could potentially do is just Tailwind. And switch into Groudon. But I feel like the Kyogre might switch out here. Yeah. No, the Kyogre didn't switch out. I think if anything switches out, I think it's attacked. But the, the Mewtwo, it's got to feel threatened from the Veltal. Um, although the Kyogre could switch out, Mewtwo could try and snipe the Tapu Fini, which wouldn't be ideal. But then we do get a Tailwind up. 
I, I feel like I'm bottling it a little bit. I'm going to snarl and I'm going to icy wind. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it. Kyogre switches. We're going to see the Lele come in. We're going to see Mewtwo probably mega evolve and go for a, um, a good old side strike into Tapu Fini. Which it probably gets. Yeah, Mewtwo Y. So the, the Snarl's kind of useful, the Tailwind would have been way more useful because now our terrain's kind of gone. Side Strike. Does Finny take this? Maybe. Maybe they do. He take it. Finny. This is why Finny's just the best. <laughs> okay. I, there was a little part of me that was like, maybe we take it. Get some nice damage onto the Mewtwo, the Lele. More importantly, get that special attack drop to protect our good old Yveltal a little bit longer. And Icy Wind as well, which is nice. Just to pressure a little bit more with that speed drop there. Um, now Yveltal should outspeed. Should. Mm, do we outspeed the Mewtwo? I don't know if we do. I don't think we'll outspeed the Mewtwo. We'll outspeed the Lele though. So we can get a Tailwind up this turn. Um. We don't really have a switch in for Finny, so it's probably likely we're going to have to sack it. I'm going to try and get a light screener, but the Tailwind's going to be more important. So the Tapu Lele going to switch out. Ditto coming in. Here we go. There we are. That's what we thought. Imposter. Imposter Ditto. Side Strike we probably don't take. Well, maybe minus one. Maybe. Me too is going to go for it again. Side Strike into... Thingy. I'd be surprised if we take this. Well, we do. We get the light screen up as well, which is pretty huge for us. Uh, okay, now the Mewtwo is in a, a, like a, a real, a real sitch here. Um, I think I'll just snarl, and I'm just gonna nature's madness the the ditto. So Mewtwo does protect, so we'll probably see the Veltal, the, the Ditto, try to Tailwind here, I would imagine. Um, so the Nature's Madness into that slot is really, really important for us. We know that Veltal has got the exact same set as us, cannot really... Oh, come on. Why, why, why? That would have been super, super useful for us right there, because it means that it would have meant that Thunderous could have come in and done some work. Okay, we'll foul play into the Mewtwo slot. Uh, we're probably going to have to, like I say, we're going to have to sack um, Tapu Fini here to a side strike, unfortunately. But we'll try and get a Nature's Madness, Nature's Madness off regardless. Um, the thing with the Ditto is, like, they've got the same problem as what we've got. We can't really hit them for big damage. Um, and, like, they can't hit us for big damage. So it's kind of like just chip by chip by chip by chip. Oh. I'll play into the Finny. Okay, we actually get the Mewtwo now. So we're going to get this Nature's Madness off. Uh, the Ice Wind really coming in quite quite big for us there. Um, Nature's Madness. That's, that's, that's big for us there. So at least we get that off. And now what comes in? Tapu Lele. And we've got, the thing is, we've got a light screen up as well. So, I mean, we're not in the worst of positions at all. It's just I've got nothing in the back. I want, I feel comfortable switching in right now. Um, I'm going to snarl while I've got the opportunity to. Um, and I'll just, mm, and Ninja's Madness once again. Uh, I see when, sorry, once again. Moonblast, it'll be into our Avel tool. Probably see a snarl come out, potentially. Does some decent damage, snarl, yeah. There we go. Reduce our special attack. It's more important to get the special attack reduced on that Tapu Lele though than anything else because it's the Moonblast that are the more threatening thing right at this second. So we do get that and get the special attack drop, which is super important for us. And at this point, I think we just want to preserve um, Groudon in the back when that Kyogre comes in. We can bring in our own Thunderous. What we'll do, we'll protect Thunderous, we'll Tailwind ourselves. We're not, we're not in any danger of being knocked out. I think the worst thing that could happen is a, a critical hit. Moonblast into Evelto, but I'm going to hold out that we don't. We don't get hit by that right now. 
Um, maybe the Ditto decides it wants to retreat. Maybe it wants to go back, Kyogre hit the field, and maybe they want to become thunderous for the match because it deals with the Veltal a little bit better, but I'm not going to see that just yet. There's a Moonblast. Yeah, I'll probably just see another Snarl. I mean, we take that super comfortably. There's a special attack drop. There's another Snarl from the Ditto. Velto avoids. And I think, does my opponent's Tailwind end this turn? The light screen wears off in there, yeah. So now we can get the Velto. Um, we can get the Tapu Lele. And what we'll do, we'll just go for the... Gigabolt Havoc just to make sure into that Eveltal because it will it will have copied a special attack a special defense boost from the Misty Seed so that's something we need to take into consideration maybe a Thunderbolt's not quite enough to get the, the Ditto from this range so we just want to make sure we are t so we're not allowing my opponent to get their their Tailwind up but they are going to actually switch out they're going to bring in Kyogre and get absolutely nuked by the <clears throat> the Electrum Z, it'll be interesting to see if we can take down this Kyogre with it. The foul play should take out the Lele, but first of all, we're going to get this this Electrum Z into the Kyogre. And this will be really nice to see. Like, I hope we can pick up the knockout here. Because then my opponent comes back in with the Valtel, uh, uh, with the Ditto once again, in the same kind of situation, because they're forced in on that slot. Well, not really, if we miss the KO on the Lele, that would be the only situation. Um, oh, the Kyogre actually survives. So we're going to... Yeah, we're going to see the Ditto come in. Copy the Thunderous here, but... I think it's going to be alright. I think we're going to be alright anyway. Because we've got a Tailwind up. They've got no access to speed control. Uh, we'll add speed them, but both our targets. Uh, the Ditto, like you see, is going to come in. And Imposter are Thunderous. Okay, but we got, we got Snarl. And a Snarl will be enough to take down the Kyogre for sure. Um, and the Thunderbolt will be enough to take down this Ditto. And we should be able to close this one up pretty comfortably against the Ice Bullet. But Ivaltal again doing some nice work. Thunderous doing some really nice work in this match. There's the Thunderbolt. It is enough to take down the Ditto. We didn't even need the Snarl, but we'll go for it anyway. Doesn't miss, because Ivaltal's a good... Ooh, we actually don't take down the Kyogre. Hmm. Scald coming out. But, yeah, Thunder is going to be able to take that nub in, which is nice. And then we just finish up with the foul player. I guess we are, like, what are we, minus two special attacks. So, yeah, I mean, considering that might have been a little bit better than <laughs> going for a foul player there. But never mind. So, we do pick up a win to kick us off today. So, very good game to my opponent. And uh, a nice way for us to kick off on this happy Thursday. And we'll go into this next one, and hopefully it doesn't take too long to um, to find an opponent. And if it does, we've got the black screen. If it does, guys, what we'll do is I will just come straight back to it. And um, when we bump into our next one. We've got our next opponent already, so 1722 Japanese rated player. We'll go straight into team preview. They are playing a team of Duskman, Necrozma, Lunala, the Tabulele, Incineroar, Gastrodon, and the Salamence. Salamence is going to be the mega of the team. We're going to have probably Ultra and Necrozma. Um, could be a Trick Room variant. You know, you've got that Gastrodon there that could perform well in Trick Room. Um, the Lunala as well, going to have Tailwind, maybe Trick Room as well. Um, it could potentially be Ultra Necrozma. Uh, it's, a, it's a strange archetype that I've not really come across before, but one that does interest me quite a lot. Uh, I think it's quite nice. It's quite difficult to play against. The one thing I would say more than anything is Ivalto does extremely well in this matchup, and protecting it is going to be something that we need to do very well. Um, I'm going to lead off with Ivalto, and I don't know if I lead with... Um, don't know if I lead with Incineroar. I think it, I kind of, yeah. Do I want to lead Incineroar, switch into Tapu Finney, or lead Incineroar, switch into Tapu Finney? I know I want to bring both of those two. 
Um, and then it's just which which one lasts. It's probably going to be Groudon, I think, in this match. There's also like an argument for Thunderous with Priority Taunt, but I don't think it does very much outside of maybe Hidden Part Ice onto the Salamence, to be honest. Um, I'm going to bring Finny up top. Incineroar's goal is nicer to kind of switch in for the Intimidate and Groudon, hopefully. Hopefully we locked the Groudon in because we're running out of time, not paying attention to a clock, and um, hopefully we did get the Groudon. If not, it would be... Well, which, which Pokemon would it be? Would it be Metagross, which it would, I really don't want to bring to this game, but... It might, it might be alright. It may be alright. I don't know. I'm gonna see Lunala and Tablele come up for my opponent. Uh, that's fine, because I mean, the nice thing here is that we are able to overwrite the Psychic Terrain, which does activate before anything else. Um, there we go. Misty Terrain. We'll get our Misty Seed. One of the things we could potentially do here is just protect Evaltol. And bring in Cinnamon, but I think the thing is, like, it would be good just to snarl and uh, we could even just heal Pulse Valtor just to get around the potential Moonblast that comes out onto us from Tapu Lele. Like, do we see a Z move from Lunala into Finny? I doubt it, not in front of Valtor. And if they do, then we kind of punish that. So, I'm gonna go for that. I do expect a Moonblast from the Lele. Okay, the Lunala gonna switch out. Salamence gonna come in. Like I don't mind this at all. It's gonna get an intimidate. We're gonna see Moonblast into the Veltal. I think that's the big thing. Like my opponent wants to take down the Veltal if you're doing anything else, so it's gonna go for it, yeah. But we should be able to heal this off. We'll get the nice Oof. Does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Even with that boost, like yeah. The snarl's really nice. Does some nice damage to the Salamence. Kind of indicating that it's naive over the, the hasty variant that we're seeing a lot of this season, just with that damage there. We'll be able to heal off that, that, that Moonblast damage. Um, and I think one thing we can do now is Tailwind. I think that's probably what my opponent's going to try and go for. We'll get Incineroar onto the field to get an Intimidate onto the Salamence because that's a thing they could potentially double into Evelto with Double Edge Moonblast. Uh, Lele not switching out here. I would have thought it may have wanted to, but it's going to just persist with these these moon blasts here, uh, which is fine. As I see, this Simon to go for a mega evolution. Might go for Tailwind itself, just to keep up pace with things. Um, but we will have our fake out going into the next turn. We are going to just going to see another moon blast from this Tapu. Little bit into the Finny this time, uh, and the double edge coming out as well. Um, but the double up not into the slot we expected. It's going to take um, Incineroar down to its berry, so. That's fine, uh, and we get a kind of a free tailwind up here, so that's that's really good for us. Um, and I think one of the things we will do this next turn is probably just um, do we just ooh, do a foul play into the Salamence? Is it going to be enough on minus one to get it? I'm not really sure if it is. Um, I could just snarl again, and then just go for a U-turn into the Tapu Lele because I want to preserve this Intimidate as well. That's the thing. Um, we could maybe get Tapu Fini back onto the field, but also we could get Metagross out. I think, which is you know, we brought Metagross not the uh, <laughs> not the Groudon like we'd ex we we trying to. We've been locked in with Metagross, which is fine. Um, there's another Moonblast. It's not really going to be doing too much. We'll probably see the double up now into the Veltal. Imagine from the Salamence here, get a special attack drop, which is not ideal. Um, okay, yeah, that's a double up. Yeah, because Salomon's going to take itself down, which is fine. And we'll get a U-turn into the Tapu Lele. And probably put, well, it's definitely in foul play range this next turn. Um, we could get Tapu Fini in, to be honest, because then we can heal Pulsar Evaltal and put ourselves back in a decent position, because I think that's the one thing, like, keeping Evaltal healthy is, is kind of the, the most important thing here. For us, once the Lele goes down, I feel like my opponent's options to kind of deal with it do fall away a little bit, but we have to be careful, of course. And what is my opponent going to bring in? It's going to be the Necrozma again. Hmm. Do we see. Huh. Do we see a trick room? 
that would be interesting, wouldn't it? We'll go for another snow. Uh, actually, we won't. We'll go for a foul play. We'll go for foul play into the Lele. And I'm going to go for the heel pulse into the eval tool. Maybe he's sealing the Necrozma Protect here. Maybe he goes Trick Room. Who knows? We need to get rid of the Lele. I can't afford to keep taking these Moon Blasts. That's the big thing. Um, and just keeping Yveltal around on the field now makes things so much easier for us. What if it's going to be Steel Sun Steel Strike? Trick Room. There we are. But I think it's, it's going to be tough for my opponent really now because we've got Incineroar in the back that we can bring in Lunala and Duskmane strong as they are against two dark types I just don't feel like it's going to be it's going to be very easy at all what I'll do is protect Lunala and I'm just going to switch in Incineroar for Tapu Fini and I think it will be I don't think it's Ultra Necrozma I think it's just Duskmane at this point could be wrong but the Intimidate cycling now is, is like super important for us. And I think an end game that we're looking at now is remove Lunala. And uh, once we remove Lunala, then then the Necrozma becomes a bit easier because Metagross does obviously struggle against Lunala. And uh, once that's out of the way, Metagross can come in and, and do a decent enough job against Duskman Necrozma, especially without the Earth power that it's potentially not got. So we'll just protect the Veltal. The Sunsteel Strike is into the Evaltal slot. And then goes beam into what was the Tapu Fini. Okay, our Tailwind Pit is out. Sun Cineral technically should be the, the slowest thing on the field. Um, I think what we could do is just Snarl um, and just go for a fake out into the Necrozma here. The next turn, what we'll probably try and do is switch Incineroar out so we can cycle that Intimidate once again onto the Necrozma, knowing that it is a physical variant. Um, it just makes things a lot easier for Eveltal. So the Sun Steel Strike is still going to hurt. Like, we can't just underestimate that. It is still going to do a decent amount of damage. We do force the Protect here with the Fake Out Pressure that we've got. Uh, we could have doubled up into the Lunala for sure, but again, like I say, I don't really want to take unnecessary damage. And we are actually underspeed the Lunala in Trick Room, but it does avoid the Snarl, which is really frustrating. And we are going to actually see, oh, an all-out pummeling. Hmm. Where's this into? This is a bit frustrating that our Snarl missed there, because maybe if it's into Eveltal, like it does way less damage. It's into Incineral. It's, I don't think even minus one. Well, nah, not from that range, but... It's just annoying that a snow misses. <laughs> hmm. I think, well, we have to bring in Tapu Fini, don't we? Um, do we light screen? Do we snow? I think we probably now nah, we felt uh, now nah, we we snarl we snarl and it's just madness into the necrozma. Ah, uh, we snarled. We should have felt played. Sun still strike. At least the wide guard's been revealed. To be volatile. Hmm. Yeah, and that is blocked. But we can heal Pulsy Velto now, that's the thing. Like, yeah, we can snarl, and uh, I think we do heal Pulse this turn. Because this, the next Sun Seal Strike won't take you Velto down. Both my Pokemon are faster than the, the Lunala. We're not seeing a wide guard here. We might see a Tailwind from the Lunala. Um, which would make sense. It would make sense. Like the Trick Room ending, going for that. But now the Necrozma's in foul play range, and the Lunala will go down to foul play. 
which is the main thing. Uh, I'm going to be maybe going for the Abelto. No, and then it's going to be in range, but yeah, not going to quite be enough, unfortunately. As the dimensions turn back to normal. Um, I mean, we just foul play again and just heal pulse again. There's no, there's no. Good, don't mind if the Lunala goes for Tailwind and we see uh, a Protect on the Necrozma. As long as you get a heal pulse, I mean, there's not really much my opponent can do. Like, the double up is just not going to work, and we're going to be able to close this one out, which we do see a forfeit. So, we do manage to pick up a nice second victory here to end us up today, which is really nice and very good game to my opponent and my opponent from game one. And, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's been really good. The team's performing quite well now. I think we had that, like, little slip up at the start of the week. Um, I don't know second episode when we kicked off on Monday but since then we've kind of turned it around a bit we've been able to feature a lot of different Pokemon from the team a lot of how the team's set up how it operates against a lot of different archetypes which has really been nice so I hope you have been enjoying it and uh, do let me know down in the comment section if you'd like to see me continue with this team next week because I'm I'm happy to play on with this team I do have a lot of fun with it and maybe we make some adjustments going into next week and just play it for another week that would be a lot of fun or if there's other calls out there that you'd like to see uh, me feature in the meantime we can totally change to that but uh, I would be happy playing this next week it would be a lot of fun to kind of just make a few changes changes on Monday next week and then see where we can go from there and end up with a really nice team which I do think has a lot of potential in this format so thank you so much for tuning in guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you all for the next episode of our VGC 19 battle series so until then guys take care and bye bye